To create the drawing for challenge block two, I'm going to go ahead and start a drawing as usual, click browse, choose my challenge block two, and open it. I'll drop the front view, the top view, the right side view, and the isometric view on my sheet. Hit the check mark to close that. As I usually do, I'll select the isometric view and make my changes. Currently it's one to one. I'm going to change that to one to two so it's half the scale of the other drawings. And I'm going to change it to be shaded with edges and position it in the upper right hand corner about equal distant from the border on each side but not touching. In this part, we also have a blind hole right here and right here, two blind holes that go three tenths of an inch or 0.3 in depth. Right now there is no drawing that shows that feature, meaning there is nowhere for us to label it. To fix this problem, we're gonna click on the right side view and go to under display style from where we start, one to the left that says hidden lines visible, just on this view. That way it's showing us a nice clean example of how deep those holes are, which will give us a spot for dimensioning it. This is a fun one to dimension because there are lots of patterns involved. So as I go to smart dimension, definitely gonna dimension this overall. This is also an easy spot to add the dimension for each of the peg diameters. We dimension them both to show that they are the same size. This helps us establish a pattern for later on. I'm gonna do the same thing in the upper view with the, di the diameters of the two post holes. I'm also gonna use this view to say from the circle to the outside edge is 0.5. I'm gonna use this other one to say from the circle to the top edge is 0.25. Again, because of our patterning, positioning this here for a reason, because of our patterning, that shows us that this and this distance must be the same. We're also going to say from here to here is half an inch, as is from here to here, because those are those critical dimensions that we need it. As I look to the side here, I've got several heights not dimensioned. The height of the post was not dimensioned. The depth of our cut here was also not dimensioned. Neither was the depth of our post hole. We will dimension all of those. Because of all those shapes are in the way, the overall height of the part will be dimensioned on this face. The only thing missing is the overall depth. I have the depth of those two pieces here, but the overalls are not labeled. I could label them in one of two locations. I can choose from here to here as my dimension and label it above this drawing. That's the one I'm actually gonna place. I could also have chosen the distance from here to here and labeled it out here, which would have been equally as true. However, I'm gonna hit escape because I'm not gonna add both of those dimensions. That would lose me points. This drawing is now fully dimensioned. And in order to make these show up as fractions, which you may be required to do, I'm gonna get out of the dimension tool I'm going to go to the very top of the screen where the white gear is that says options. I'm going to click that, go to document properties, then units, and under length, change it over to fractions. I don't have anything smaller than eighths of an inch, so eighths is fine. I'm going to hit OK. Everything should change except for the point three. Those are not standard fractions you would find on a ruler, so those are not going to display as fractions. I do have a little adjusting to do because I don't want my numbers touching or overlapping lines. So I will adjust those anywhere where they need to be adjusted. That looks like I would take care of it. So 
After this, I would fill out my title block, and this drawing is ready to print as page two of this packet.